this shower curtain is disgusting and we're going to do something about it. This is our Lance 1985. Now we bought this in June of 2020 and honestly I really do love the shower enclosure but even though we dry it down and really try to keep it clean after three years of use the bottom has discolored and we've decided it's time to try to change it out. Now we had a couple of options. One was we thought we could just go ahead and take the original shower enclosure down do a nice shower curtain with hooks using this bowed rod. But we were worried because this does flare out from the actual shower pan, we were kind of worried would the shower curtain fall outside of the pan and then get water on the floor. And we really do like this. So I did a little research, found the name of the company, and I was able to order a new one. Now, if you own a Lance with that same shower enclosure, there's a good chance that there is a sticker on the actual shower curtain. It'll have the name of the company, contact information, and stuff like that. Unfortunately, Ours had fallen off at some point, we have lost it. And with a little bit of research, I found out that the manufacturer is Shower Enclosures of America out in California. So I went to their website, found an email address, emailed, and immediately got a response saying, yep, we can send you a new one. And so that's what I have right here. This ended up costing me, I believe, $20 for the actual shower curtain and then about another $24 for shipping. Now, we just have to get this installed so we can have a clean shower curtain here in the trailer. Okay, I've got instructions that came with it. Looks fairly simple. So. We're going to hop in the shower and we're going to start by removing the old one. So the instructions say the first step is we need to identify these fasteners and we're going to rotate them a quarter of a turn. Aha, just like that. And that is going to release the top of our shower curtain. And now we get to do the same thing on the bottom. There we go. Now. We'll go on to the next step. Well, that seems simple enough. Now we just have to slide the curtain up and out of its track. Now, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention because there is a top and a bottom to this. Now, you could either look at your old one when you took it out to know this or the instructions tell you, but the bigger seam goes at the bottom. So now what we need to do is go ahead and get this slid down into the tracks. go now it's in so I just took my time worked it through the channel at the bottom I had to pull it over and uh, I want to show you one thing here real quick this is that label you're going to be looking for on yours if you want to replace it but if not I'm going to put all this information down in the description for the video so if you lost yours you'll still be able to reach out to them and order a new one if you want so the new curtain actually came with new clips so you don't have to pull the old clips out of your old curtain so now all we have to do is go ahead and install these clips and we should be about done. So uh, just looking at these, it looks like they're just going to push through and there are holes already in the shower curtain. And then on the back side, you'll find where they attach and you're gonna make, once you get it in, you're gonna make that quarter turn and that's gonna lock it into place. So now I just have to do this on the rest of them here on the top and then we're going to go to the bottom okay i want to show you something we actually have a couple of the little brackets that go right up here that you connect to that are actually broken but i think i found a solution we'll see how long it lasts but we're going to at least try it so let me start by taking one of these off and let's just take a look at it see how there's that bottom part right there okay so now i'm going to go ahead and we're going to reattach this one there we go. See how it fastens just like that. But if I come down here, the bat plastic bottom is broken. So when you put it in there, it just falls off. So what I have done is I found 
that I can actually stick these right into that track. And if you get them back, it seems to hold in place. Now, we'll see how long they hold up, but they did send me a couple extra clips and I can save the clips from the old one. And that way, if these do end up breaking, we could just replace them. Now, you may be able to find the replacement clips from SEA, but I don't even think I'm gonna mess with that. And worst case scenario, we could always just use these holes and use shower curtain hooks up here at the top. So I don't know, I think it's gonna work because apparently they've been broken for a while. And voila, we have a nice new sparkling clean shower curtain. Not only does it look better, but it actually smells better in here too. So if you have a SEA shower enclosure and you want to change out your shower curtain, I think you can do it. If I can do it and I did it in under 20 minutes and that was with trying to film, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do it too. I'll leave all the information for them down below and I'm going to have you watch this video next. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Bye.